Hi everyone, Andy Trice back again. And today I want to talk to you about a phone gap application that I created about a year ago. Um, it's called the Fresh Food Finder. I've got it right here running on a Samsung Galaxy S4. I've uh, got the same application running on iPhone 5. And I've, I've released it for iOS and Android. Uh, I've also targeted it for Windows Phone, uh, runs on a Windows Phone, haven't released it on Windows Phone yet, but I recently got my hands on one of these. This is actually a Firefox OS developer phone. And so the PhoneGap API is coming for Firefox OS. It's not available quite yet, but I wanted to start getting familiar with the Firefox OS operating system and the ecosystem and how you get applications onto the device. So I said, why not take the Fresh Food Finder, because it's a really simple app and it has minimal use of PhoneGap APIs, and port that over to Firefox OS and check out the developer experience. So with that, I'd like to show you the Fresh Food Finder running on Firefox OS. This is available in the Firefox OS marketplace right now, and it was really easy to take my PhoneGap application and port it over to Firefox OS. Because Firefox OS applications are written with web standards, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, they essentially are native to the platform. So I took the code that I had in GitHub, uh, and the first thing I did was put it onto the phone and see what happens, so what works, what doesn't work. And actually, almost everything worked right out of the box. There was a couple instances where I was calling PhoneGap-specific functions, and since I'm not using PhoneGap on this yet, although I will be able to soon, um, I had problems in those cases. I did run into a few configuration issues, but I was able to take the code base from this application that's already been deployed to iOS and Android, set up the Firefox OS developer environment, get acclimated with it, set up the, the application config, and submit it to the, the Firefox OS marketplace in less than 24 hours. So it was very easy to get up and running and get it into the ecosystem. Let's go ahead and take a look at it on the devices. I'll show it real quick on iOS and Android and show it on the Firefox OS device itself. Just to give you an idea. So what we have here, this is a Geeks phone, which is a Firefox OS developer phone. We have an iPhone 5, and we have the Fresh Food Finder. All three of them are running uh, the same app experience. The code base is almost identical between all of them. In particular, the Geeks phone, I had to comment out the, the PhoneGap APIs. But what you'll see, let me go ahead and launch the app, is that the UI is the same, the interaction is the same, and all of this is based upon the HTML and JavaScript code base and implementation. So you can see that we can find markets nearby, we can search for a market, and you have a similar experience on all platforms. Let me go ahead and switch over in particular to the Firefox OS phone. Let's move these two out of the way. And now let's say if we wanted to search for Maryland. Let's, let's see all of the farmers markets that are in Maryland. You can see it, we pulled back more than 50 results, but I could go ahead and I could select one of these. I could view it in the map. And it exp you can interact with it exactly as you would expect. You can touch it, you can pinch zoom, we have nice fluid transitions. And as I mentioned, every bit of this is actually HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We can even launch out to the separate browser to get maps. In this case, it's, it's delegating to Google Maps for directions. We can jump back to the application. And you get the idea. It's an app experience. It, it feels like an app. It looks like an app. It does exactly what you would expect it to do. So that is the Fresh Food Finder running on uh, Firefox OS. And this code base is entirely based upon the PhoneGap code base. I, I had a couple calls in there to the Navigator uh, notification API because I had some confirmation dialogues that were coming up on other platforms, but that was the only PhoneGap specific call I had in the original code base. So I commented that out, put it on the device, and m almost everything worked straight out of the box. I had, uh, you know, so the configuration setup. So there's actually an application manifest that you have to set up in order to get the app on the device and give it the permissions that it needs to access specific functions. But once you do that, it, it's basically installed as a packaged app. It's on the device, everything's local. It, um, it's distributed through the marketplace and it was really, really, really easy to get it up and running on the device. 
So once the PhoneGap API is actually available for Firefox OS, I'm going to revisit this and I'm just going to take the exact same code base without having to make changes for it and put it onto the device and, and resubmit it to the marketplace. But this kind of goes to show you the power of developing with web standards. Easy portability. I was able to get from the iPhone and Android implementations to an entirely separate platform, the Firefox OS platform, in under 24 hours. And um, the code for this is available on my GitHub site. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And definitely check out Firefox OS. Thanks.